He was engaging in deceit with a picture of Spanish meat. <laughs> a French physicist tweeted a picture of what he claimed was a distant star captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, but only to admit less than an hour later that it was actually a photo of chorizo. <laughs> but it didn't fool Jimmy. He's used to, he's used to sending pictures of his chorizo. <laughs> Chorizo, of course, is Spanish sausage, which is just like regular sausage. It's delicious, it's salty, and one of the reasons Brian Stelter can no longer close his bathrobe. <laughs> but I was surprised France even had physicists, because becoming a physicist is really hard, and the French are known for giving up. <laughs> uh, I kid the French. I kid them at Anna Watch. The physicist Etienne Klein said that although he had originally pulled the prank just for fun, he later saw it as a way to encourage people to think about cognitive bias and learn to be wary of arguments from authority. It was also a really good way to get people to think about what they wanted for lunch. <laughs> Klein later apologized for a sausage picture. See, I told you the French gave up easy. <laughs> By the way, here are some other pictures they took with the James Webb Space Telescope. Teles here are Saturn, Saturn and its rings. Here's the Andromeda galaxy. And here is Jupiter. Yes. Ah, it works. Kat, do you think that's what he was trying to do? Show no, what was he doing? No, he was just doing it because he's like a nerd and just kind of bored and that was fun to him. Yeah. But then he's also good enough at manipulation that he was able to spin it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But he's right. I mean, you should. I think when somebody is saying something for position of authority, you should almost be careful to know that they know they have that authority and they, they might sometimes abuse it. Mm. If I had that authority, oh, I'd abuse the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, Jimmy? Yeah. If I could tell them about things in outer space that weren't there, oh, I would do it. Yeah, I lie all the time about space. Me too. What do you? What's your favorite lie about space? I'll just start naming stars. Yes, that's I'll great. Go, you see that? That's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any other thoughts? I, I was taken in, and I should have known better because I thought, my God, that galaxy looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Michelle, are we so ignorant that we cannot tell the difference between sausage and a planet or a star? Wow. You know, as a Spaniard, I could choose to be offended by this chorizo <laughs> thing. But instead, I will choose not to be. Actually, I think this is one of the most brilliant things I've ever seen on Twitter. Because mm -hmm. A, he's a scientist. He, he looked at a piece of chorizo sausage while he was eating his charcuterie and said, doesn't this look like something from outer space? Then he sold it, right? He sold it. Then he kind of backtracked and said, by the way, nothing from a charcuterie board ever appears in outer space. And then finally he apologized and said, and it was kind of an apology. It was more like, you all believed it and you shouldn't have. Yeah. And I thought, like Kat, I thought that was the most important part of the message was, Always, always be skeptical. You know, I'm used to this. When I go to the dermatologist, he will always go, that looks like it's from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just ignore it and it goes away. Then, yeah, right? but then it comes back. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. worse. If it loves friends. you, it comes back, right? <laughs> STDs are like that. Um, I do think that um, this, you know, we already live in an age of deep fakes. So right. there is a lesson here. And... Uh, there was a uh, head, you know, like every other headline you read now, if if it's a picture of a headline, it's like like somebody has super diarrhea, right? right? Like a right wing activist has super diarrhea and it's a New York Times headline. And it's like, I want to believe that. Me too. I want to believe everybody in the world has super diarrhea except me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, you got to you got to trust but verify. I've never heard that phrase before. Is super diarrhea one that's fun? I think so. Yeah. Whoa, it's, super it's, diarrhea! You pay, you pay one extreme. price. You pay one price, and it comes with a water park. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it comes with the water park. Super diarrhea. I'll take the soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The only show that. Is the number one show, <laughs> but does nothing but poop jokes. <laughs> That's on you, America. That's your fault.
Yes. All right, up next, a dog's expression can leave an impression. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.